theory of change, an effective tool for finding community supply chain solutions. Across villages in sub-Saharan Africa, community health workers, or CHWs, are changing the way children under five are treated when they get sick. Every year, 6.9 million children die before their fifth birthday due to largely preventable causes like pneumonia, malaria, diarrhea, and malnutrition. CHWs, like Hannah, bring medicines directly to sick children under five years of age in their own villages using an approach called community case management. How does this happen? After Hannah picks up medicines at the health center, she puts them in her drug box so that they stay safe and dry. Then Hannah walks, rides a bicycle, or a mule or horse to the village in her community so she can diagnose and treat children with life-saving medicines. Hannah returns to the health center to resupply her medicines. This cycle repeats every month. This process saves the lives of thousands of children each year. But for the process to work regularly and effectively, programs need a well-performing supply chain that reaches community health workers with the right quantities of the right products at the right time, in the right place, and at the right cost. Hannah inspires confidence and trust within her community when she has all the medicines in stock that she needs. Meet Manondo. He's a supply chain manager who is always looking for ways to improve the performance of the supply chain in his country, despite the many challenges. Manondo has had trouble avoiding stockouts at village clinics this year, but he doesn't know why. He decided to develop a theory of change to map out the supply chain, diagnose the challenges, identify the most important pieces of the supply chain to improve, and prioritize support given his limited resources. Manondo has a variety of tools in his toolkit to help him assess and strengthen supply chains. A theory of change is one tool that Manondo can use to find bottlenecks in the supply chain and to prioritize the most effective pathways to achieving improvements. A theory of change is a visual representation of the steps in a chain of events like a supply chain, and it shows how the steps relate to one another. The theory of change identifies all the necessary pieces that need to be in place to have a functioning supply chain. The SC for CCM project is using a theory of change to find affordable, simple, and sustainable supply chain solutions to address the unique challenges of community health workers. SC for CCM developed a project theory of change to characterize factors that influence the availability of medicines for CHWs. Whoa, that seems intimidating. Don't worry, it makes sense if you look at each step one by one. The project began developing the theory of change by identifying its main objective, give sick children the right treatment for common childhood illnesses. Then sc for ccm identified the main project goal, CHWs must have usable quality medicines to treat these illnesses. SC for CCM then prioritized the five major stepping stones, preconditions, that need to be in place to reach these goals. They were necessary, usable, quality CCM products are available at CHW resupply points. CHWs or persons responsible for CHW resupply know how, where, what, when, and how much of each product to requisition or resupply and act as needed. CHWs have adequate storage, correct conditions, security and adequate space. Goods are routinely transported between resupply points and CHWs. And CHWs are motivated to perform their roles in the CCM product supply chain. 
Each of these five preconditions marks a pathway that shows the steps that need to be in place to reach the major precondition. SC4CCM used the project theory of change to design baseline assessments for Ethiopia, Malawi, and Rwanda, collect data from each supply chain, and develop interventions to improve supply chain outcomes. These country-specific approaches were then reflected in theories of change for the three countries. While all the theories of change aim to achieve the same objective, the country-specific ones have variations in steps that constitute the causal pathways that are necessary to achieve that objective. In Malawi, SC4CCM identified several system weaknesses after mapping the baseline to the theory of change. Only 43% of CHWs reported logistics data to health centers and only 14% of CHW data reached districts. Districts and health centers didn't know how many medicines CHWs needed and had to guess when ordering product. During the baseline, only 27% of CHWs visited had all four products in stock they needed to treat a sick child. The survey identified an opportunity though. 95% of CHWs had a mobile phone and 85% had network coverage. To address the gap in data visibility and make ordering medicines easier, SC4CCM developed a mobile health system called CSTOC. Where CSTOC is used, reporting rates are above 80% on average and health centers and districts can access good, timely data to make decisions. CSTOC saves Hannah time. Once a month, she sends an SMS to CSTOC saying how many medicines she has available. She only travels to the health center when the products are there. Why would supply chain managers like Manondo want to invest time in using the theory of change, especially if he has other tools? A theory of change offers supply chain managers a level of precision and structure to help them prioritize. This is missing from current approaches. Public health supply chain challenges are well known and documented. Addressing them in the same way has not produced new results. When working in complex health systems, it is important to understand each building block as well as the relationships between them. Supply chain training and tools are important building blocks for causal pathways leading to three of the five preconditions. In Ethiopia, the baseline showed only 11% of CHWs were trained and none had the right tools. Rolling out training and providing tools for all 30,000 CHWs was a priority before more complex interventions could be implemented. The theory of change serves as both a technical and monitoring and evaluation framework for SC4CCM, enabling the project to successfully use data to design interventions. Information is used efficiently in more than one way since indicators are the same for both technical and monitoring and evaluation activities. Theories of change have been used for many programs and purposes. Using them to guide supply chain improvements is unique. Theories of change can be practical and useful tools for experienced supply chain managers to help them chart the pathway to improving a specific aspect of the supply chain. As programs and supply system managers understand and address priority supply chain gaps and challenges, they are more able to implement changes. Theories of change can also evolve to help identify and tackle newer issues. Improvements to supply chains benefit community health workers like Hannah and ultimately the children they serve. To learn more about our theories of change in Ethiopia, Malawi and Rwanda and get updates, visit sc4ccm.jsi.com.